This is video from the balcony of the Paris apartment Nico Simmercetis is renting. I heard the sirens, but it didn't click that something was wrong. Simmercetis was inside that apartment when his phone started blowing up. Family and friends asking if he's okay. He had no idea terrorists were murdering people just a block and a half away. He talked to me tonight via FaceTime. When they said the concert hall, I was thinking there's no way it could be that concert hall. I just walked right through there. Has that hit you? Has that gravity, that situation hit you? When I went down there and saw you know, flowers and, and the candles, you gotta remember it's not just a terrorist attack, it's people's lives were, were lost. The Parma man shared videos and pictures of the scene today after police had closed off streets and international media began pouring in. The Airbnb conference he was attending now canceled. He's paying close attention to updates from the U.S. Embassy, which knows he's in Paris because he alerted them before traveling. It's a step anyone heading abroad can take. State.gov, uh, and there's a, they have an online thing. You just fill it out and tell them where you're going, give an address where you're staying, your phone number. Now he has plans to return to Paris and continue the sightseeing that tragedy cut short. This has not uh, deterred you then. I don't want to. I don't want to be scared to to go about living my life you know, and 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 you know have cowards like this uh, win. I'm Derek Waller, News Channel Five.